to get it. <laughs> I try to get it in before someone hits, but I'm not always successful. Okay, let me show you that one. How'd that feel? Great. White slowly starts. Yeah. All good. Still felt good, but and most of those drives, yeah. It's just that seemed like a long way. All of the first couple of well, it certainly is. Like, you know what? You might see that distance come down into the wind, but you'll pick it back up when you're down. So we'll go into a little bit into the driver. You have a something that understanding why we do what we do. Yeah. So your ball speed is still hovering right around 130 miles an hour, okay. and that's with a shorter shaft. Yeah. So you're not necessarily losing speed, ball speed, club head speed, really none of the above by going into a shorter shaft. What's happening is you're just more efficient. Hmm. Your efficiency went from 1.35 to now 1.39, almost 1.4. Okay. So you're just making better contact. Well, that's good. That's really good. Because shorter usually means you goof, goof things up sometimes. So if you go shorter than that, mean and it's not goofing things up, then that's good. Right? Yeah. Uh, another way you could you could word that is, if it's a, if it's in too long of a golf club, it's kind of like a, a commute to work, right? So if the golf club is too long, your margin of error or where things can go wrong it increases. Yeah. If it's a little bit shorter, you can start to mitigate that. Got it. it starts to become a little easier. Cool. And your land angles are getting steeper. They're kind of getting steeper by the swing. Okay. Which is good. So at elevation, this is where the numbers are slightly different than what we look at in sea level conditions. So at sea level, this that land angle is going to be closer to probably 53. Okay, so there you go. Mm -hmm. That's taking the normalized situation out of the algorithm in TrackMan. So you put that back in, and now you're at 48, which is still on the high side of the land angle window. So you're good there. Okay. Uh, and that's with T100 at stock loft. And then the lie angle on that is two degrees flat. Now I don't really remember what we did last time, but two that's okay. Flat. I don't. I don't really care too much about then because you're perhaps a different golf ball data. But this is showing me that dynamically you're delivering the club with perhaps just a little bit too much of an upright lie angle. Okay. It's like naturally you're bringing it upright. Okay. So I flattened the lie angle to compensate. Let me show you that. Pretty good. Yeah. Ball speed jumped immediately. Then 